Make Block Ultimate comes in a large box full of goodies. Actually, two layers worth of goodies. For a complete breakdown, see my earlier unboxing video. First thing to do is assemble the included storage box. There's a handy Hex Phillips multi-purpose screwdriver included. And some nut drivers. Manual is really well laid out with parts ID and proper assembly techniques described pictorially in the front. Even if you barely know what a screwdriver is, you should not have any problems assembling and building the various assemblies. So the first project I tackle is this robot tank claw thing, which looks surprisingly intimidating. All the metal parts simply screw and bolt together. Metal looks to be pretty high quality anodized extruded aluminum. Ends of the pieces are tapped for 4mm screws. Tolerance is a bit tight, so screw each screw in part way before tightening fully. The kit cleverly uses gears for multi-purpose use. In this case, they will be part of the tank treads. There are three geared motor drives in the kit, with one being a different gear ratio than the other two. These are then screwed to mounting plates. And then to the subframe. The gear drives are held on with set screws to an adapter plate. Axles use flange brass bushings. I like that all the axles use these brass bushings. Ball bearings would be nice, but probably overkill. A shaft collar holds the wheels in place. Add the upper frame. And a pivot motor drive. Lots of chef collars in this part for the double arms. Manual says I'm almost there. Almost there. Motorized manipulator claw is a neat contraption. That gets mounted to the end of the double arm structure. Oh look, more chef collars. Tank treads are a rubber-like material and are pretty easy to fit over the gear wheels. The battery holder clips onto a plastic plate. Same thing for the Arduino Mega 2650 base controller board. Plug in the modules like these encoder motor drivers. And RG25 connector ports will need to be installed. And lastly, the Bluetooth transceiver module. Snap it all onto the frame. Plug in the motors. Plug in the battery pack. Tidy up the wires while you're at it. And you're done. Now it's time to see if it actually works. The primary means of control is through the Make Block Phone app. It's available in the Android Play Store or Apple iTunes Store for free. Once in, you have the obvious selections of projects to choose from. 
selecting the robot arm tank option, which I presume auto downloads the program into the controller. Regardless, it instantly worked. Claw mechanism is quite smooth. I found the foe controls reasonably responsive. So after a few minutes, it stopped turning. It was after installing a fresh set of batteries that it started working properly again. Maybe too well. I was eager to test the load lifting capability of the claw. First with a mostly empty beer can. The gripper doesn't have crushing strength, but it easily lifted the can once secured. Next was a 20 ounce bottle of water weighing in at just over one pound. Of course it helps if I learn how to drive first. But once in its death grip, much to my surprise it lifted it. So I could tell that any more weight would have needed a counterbalance weight at the rear of the vehicle. I tested the gripper strength and yeah, it wouldn't hurt a baby. All right, so this arm tank thingy, <laughs> it works pretty well. I was really, really quite impressed that it worked right out of the box. Once the phone bound uh, to the Bluetooth on the tank, it, it fired right up and worked pretty good. Well, once I put some fresh batteries in it. <laughs> uh, so surprisingly powerful. It picked up this water bottle, which I measured at just over a pound of weight. And it seemed to be right at the edge of its capabilities because not really because the arm couldn't lift it, but because it was just starting to tip over with all that weight on the front. Uh, so that's pretty neat. I'm kind of thinking about what else I can go around and grab, but uh, I really think the, uh, the controls are not bad. They actually are variable and proportional. I thought it was just a step control, but if you're very really careful with the controls on the phone, they are actually proportional. You can do s slow maneuvers and that kind of stuff if you're really careful with it, at least on the, the tank tread part of it. Uh, so th that's pretty neat. Uh, so um, I think I will, at this point, disassemble number five and try out assembling one of the other projects that comes in the instruction manual. Let's see how that works out. There are several other projects in the manual, but this motorized camera dolly really interested me. Unfortunately, I'll need to disassemble the attack claw. Disassemble! No disassemble! This assembly went fairly quick, so I didn't completely break everything down. But enough to start building the camera sled. Just like before, select the desired build in the app and she's instantly ready in that chosen configuration. There are manual control buttons, so you will have to set the speed slider first. Rotating camera mount also has settable speeds. 
You also have automatic movement controls. You can get it to creep at a fairly slow speed. I then noticed that it wouldn't turn very well. Almost not at all. That just won't do. I recognize the problem being the straight drive axle for the rear wheels. It really needed something similar to a differential seat in automobiles. So I loosened the wheel adapter plate on one side only. And added an extra shaft collar to keep the wheel on. Yes, much better. I wanted to test the sled with some cameras, so I first mounted a GoPro. Test subject would be an old jet I've been playing with. Next was my much larger and heavier Panasonic Micro Four Thirds camera. The little guy was fun driving around and setting up new positions. It was neat to be able to make small adjustments on the fly. I even tried a dual movement pass. <laughs> ah, all right, I probably need a little more practice for that. But uh, anyways, uh, I had a lot of fun with the Make Block Ultimate 2. I especially like how everything pretty much worked right out of the box. And I'm sure I'll be using the camera sled in future videos for more pizzazz in my production. I should note that there are quite a few more projects to build that you can find on Make Block's website, like this little guy here, a two-wheeled bouncing robot with ultrasonic sensors. And I didn't even get into the custom programming you can do with the MakeBot. You have a choice of programming in Python, Arduino C, and even a simplified graphical language, which they provide code examples. When I was a kid, I loved to make things with a now ancient electronics kit that looked like this. At the time, it was pretty remarkable, but now it's a primitive relic. If I had something like this Make Block Ultimate as a kid, I probably would never leave the house as I'd be too busy making all sorts of contraptions. It truly is a 21st century erector set and would make a great gift for both young and old that likes to tinker. Isn't that right? Where are you going? Hi, thanks for watching. Please take a look at the video description below for special hobby view sales and discounts. Your purchases help support this channel. Happy modeling.